new Lord of the Rings film is coming out for Warner Brothers Discovery based on Gollum and directed by Gollum himself, Andy Serkis. Let's f***ing go! I'm Troy from Arcs on Movies, and today we're talking about the upcoming plans for Lord of the Rings from Warner Bros. Discovery for the next few years. Now, let's get into it. After that crap sandwich us Lord of the Rings fans were given from Amazon in the form of the Rings of Power, we hate them. they're offering us a second helping, with Season 2 coming out soon? I guess? I've lost track. But either way, WBD, which has been hemorrhaging money for years, is finally deciding to give us what we want. Give me what I want. Give me what I want! 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 They're gonna use the fact that they have film rights to the Lord of the Rings franchise to pump out some new movies. We already know about the animated film The Lord of the Rings, The War of Rohirrim, directed by anime director Kenji Kamiyama. That drops on December 13th, 2024, and my body is ready. To quickly go over the plot, Wikipedia says, quote, set 200 years before the events of The Hobbit and 261 years before The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, The War of Rohirrim, tells the story of Helm Hammerhand, a legendary king of Rohan who must defend against an army of Dunlendings. He becomes the namesake for the stronghold of Helm's Deep, end quote. Cool. Cool. But now, getting to the reason why we're all here, let's check out this article from IGN. New The Lord of the Rings movie announced for 2026. Update Lord of the Rings The Hunt for Gollum, directed by and starring Andy Serkis. You son of a b I'm in! Warner Brothers has revealed the new Lord of the Rings movie titled Lord of the Rings The Hunt for Gollum. It's set to be directed and starring Andy Serkis as Gollum. The film is going to reunite Serkis with Peter Jackson, Fran Walsh, and Philippa Boyance who expressed excitement about returning to Middle-earth for another epic adventure. The Dream Team is back, locked on, and we're all here for it, baby. Yeehaw, chuckle f Warner Bros. stated that this is the first of two new Lord of the Rings films from the team arriving two decades after the original film franchise. That means that we are definitely getting more. Hell yes! I will say, even though I'm all for it, I'm glad that they're not announcing a trilogy right off the bat. It didn't work out so well for The Hobbit. Yes. Sorry about that. On top of all that, if you're a gamer and a fan of Lord of the Rings, I've been getting my social media inundated with advertisements for a new video game, Tales of the Shire, which looks like a Lord of the Rings take on Animal Crossing. We're also getting a Lord of the Rings massively multiplayer online game. It looks like WBD is finally doing the smart thing and giving us more Lord of the Rings. And while some of these spin-off movies might take some liberties with the source material, it seems like they're being made by people who actually love and respect the source material and aren't going to just trample on it in the name of DEI or whatever modern messaging they want to throw into it. Yet again, all I can say is let's Go! Just hook it to my veins! Comment with your thoughts on all of this. Are you excited for the new Lord of the Rings films from WBD? Do you have hope for any of this? Do you think this will affect the Rings of Power on Prime Video in any way at all? And are you looking forward to the Middle Earth themed video games? Let me know down in the comment section. As always, the links to the articles I've covered can be found in the video description. Also, Please share this video around to everyone you know, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that little bell to be notified every time we post brand new content. I've been Troy from Arcs on Movies, and we'll see you next time. My